Hi guys, it's me, Jeannie, the Witch of Boise, and I'm here to do your monthly tarot forecast for May 2023. So before we begin, make sure you do like uh, this video and comment below um, if this resonates with you or if you have a specific date in mind, make sure that you let me know. Um, as you know, there's a little bee, little bumblebee. Um, as you can or aware, I'm sitting out on my patio. I just wanted, it's a beautiful day, and I kind of felt like this is just perfect Taurus energy that's happening. So, um, yeah, there might be some overhead um, airplanes, some bee noises and stuff like that. That's also kind of why my um, volume's a little bit low. I'm outside. Um, not everyone wants to hear, <laughs> you know, my neighbors don't want to hear about my tarot reading. So, that's why. Um, so also on my YouTube channel, um, there is a video that is for the collective and it's a yearly tarot forecast. And so, um, for the year is the lovers. If you have been watching, you already know, um, the lovers is like the overall energy that's happening this year. And then for the collective, and again, this is collective energy that I'm reading for. Um, if you want your own personalized reading, go to my website, which But for the collective, May is going to to be the Knight of Swords. And so with the Knight of Swords and the Lover's energy being the underlining May um, 2023 energy, that means that there's a lot of choices and a lot of decisions that are being made right now that the universe or even like your spirit team, um, things that are just kind of coming into like divine timing and stuff like that. Um, it's really a energy of act now, think later. And so these decisions and choices are going to be coming um, for you. And especially during um, Taurus season, Taurus, I'm a Taurus, so I can say <laughs> it's very slow moving and you have to like assess situations before you make a decision. We're going to be more mirroring Gemini on this where it is act now, think later, like just kind of get a little bit more impulsive and more spontaneous with it. Um, so yeah, that is kind of the underlining energy for May. So, um, really quick with these videos, these are how I get my card of the day that are featured on my Instagram, um, Facebook, TikTok that are featured every single day. So if you do have a date in mind, I do want to hear about it. So make sure you do comment below. Tell me that date. Um, but this is just how I get those cards. It's kind of fun as well. So it's not you know exactly where it is we are filming on april 30th so um yeah just a beautiful day it's so warm and lovely and i'm not taking any flyers so i'm just kind of shuffling my deck okay Again, no flyers, not taking that. We have one, two, three, four, five, five weeks. If you look, if you see me looking in this direction, I have my little um, calendar so I can see. So we're gonna cut this deck into five. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then five. And just put that aside. So let's just get right into it. <laughs> Zero's trying to get this bee. This bee is very interested. And I just checked to make sure there wasn't like a little nest or something and there isn't. Okay, let's begin. So for Monday, May 1st, which is also May Day and the Beltane, so exciting. Um, we have the card the empress and what a uh what a perfect card for that day um empress is this is our first major arcana too so it's about womanly energy and just really um uh, manifesting and not necessarily manifesting but it's like nurturing it's nurturing ideas nurturing yourself it's birthing new ideas and that's kind of where that manifestation energy is coming from but it's getting those um, ideas and um, really working towards those and um, yeah nurturing nurturing yourself okay then we have Monday Tuesday or 
Wednesday, Tuesday, May 2nd. And that's going to be strength. What a beautiful energy. So strength was actually the collective's card last year. And um, so there might be themes that are happening from 2021, but strength is usually a couple different things. This can be, um, you have the strength to overcome everything and you just know that. So it's any sort of troubles or worries that come into your life, you know that you can overcome them. Um, however, this can also be that like you do not believe that you have the strength to it. So you have to like reach in and, and dig deep to get that strength and courage to overcome situations. All right, then we have Wednesday, May 3rd, and that's going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is about a, almost like an internship. It's working towards um, your goals and working towards something that you've been working really hard on. Um, this is also an energy of... Um, uh, of like repetitive kind of boring. It's like doing kind of the grunt work. I like to think of it as almost like a sous chef kind of thing where um, you're doing all the grunt work and you're like, oh, I can't do this anymore. But the thing is, is the more and more you do it, the more skillful and masterful you'll become with it. All right, then we have Thursday, May 4th. That's going to be the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is a um, kind of a defensive energy. This is also something where you have been really working towards and really, um, it, it's like you've been beat up for it. Um, something that you've just been working really hard for it. And it's just a card to be, do not give up. You're almost there. You're almost to the end of it. Do not give up. You got this. And that is, oops. I didn't put enough cards, so I'm just gonna do... That was the fourth, so Friday, May 5th is also the full moon in Scorpio, and that's going to be really beautiful energy that's happening. This is the three of swords in reverse, so this is a healing energy. There's something that um, you have really been heartbroken up over or a betrayal or something like that a breakthrough moment like even maybe a breakup and you're actually starting to see you healing so much from it and um it doesn't have to be even that recently this can be just something where you're reflecting on the past and i mean that's that scorpio energy that transformation where you can see how far you've come and how far you have like transformed yourself in this so that is a really really beautiful energy to be on that full moon in Scorpio and then we have Saturday May 6th and that's gonna be the ten of wands so the ten of wands is about um, kind of a burden doing things on your own but it's being too proud to ask for help so it's a really good time to especially if you're a little bit overwhelmed with situations to ask for help people do not know um, if you need help um, and this is especially happening in Taurus season which us Tauruses are very much like that where it's like we want to take this on ourselves and not have um, any any help from anyone you know I got this um, don't be too prideful so there might be something that kind of comes up where you might even start to feel resentful and things like that don't feel like that you just reach out for help and it's also a thing that is um, a sign that you're coming close to the end of that cycle of whatever is becoming a burden okay then we have Sunday May 7th and that's gonna be the five of swords so there's going to be an energy here um, and it might be even something from that Saturday where um, you're going to be um, succeeding over something but it's not going to feel like a success it's actually going to feel like a failure and you have to have some sort of time as time goes by that you'll actually see this as a success so um, just keep that in mind it's kind of like it's it's just it's a weird energy um, it feels like failure but in the long the grand scheme of things it is a success all right, then we have Monday, May 8th. That's going to be the Nine of Pentacles. So this is really being in your oneness, feeling very abundant. It is in that independent, 
energy where you don't need people's help. So it's kind of interesting with this um, that was happening on that Saturday um, being like, I do everything on my own. Well, then you're kind of starting to reap those rewards of seeing like, see, I've done this on my own. <laughs> it's that duality kind of energy that's happening, but it's being really much in your oneness and, and not being codependent on anyone. All right, then we have Tuesday, May 9th, and that's going to be the Ten of Swords. What an awful card. <laughs> this is the worst card um, in my humble opinion. Um, this is backstabbing, betrayal energy. This can ask, also be a form of physical death. And this is not a, um, like, passing away peacefully or of old age or naturally. This is like a not great death. Um, the imagery is just awful. It's a figure with ten swords in his back and they're facing face, face down to the ground. And the good thing though is that with this ten of swords it is the ten. So that means that this cycle is going to be over with. But it doesn't make it easier. It's just an icky, icky energy. All right, then we have Wednesday, May 10th. This is going to be the Four of Swords. So for some of you, you might be on vacation or start to look at vacations, but this is a resting energy. This is a time to rest and relax and, um, especially with that underlining Knight of Swords energy, which is a really fast moving, chaotic energy. This is a really good time to like take a breath, to take a rest and take a breather and assess things because um, it just, the energy feels like it's just kind of gonna be picking up here. All right, and then we have Thursday, May 11th, and that is my birthday. And what a great birthday gift. It is the sun. The sun is one of the most positive cards. In some of my decks, the sun is actually the card that describes me, which I love. Um, the sun is just, it's just like, it's a bright light. It's like the best summer day where it's just beautiful outside and it's just kind of like today it's just beautiful and really really positive energy the downside of this card though is that it can be too much so the Sun can can create burnout so for some of you if you're feeling a little bit not that positive energy it might be that sign of burnout all right then we have um, Friday May 12th that's gonna be the two cups Two of Cups is a partnership energy. Um, a lot of times this is for romantic energies, but this can be partnerships with anything. This can be coworkers, this can be friends. It's a really good balance energy, and it's a good time to um, really celebrate those partnerships that are in your life. Um, this is also a really great balance of um, your feminine and masculine energy as well. And then we have um, Saturday, May 13th, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is another waiting energy, so that's kind of good. So when we get these waiting energies, we just really need to take them. So um, there's something that you have been um, really, um, have been working on. A lot of times like a really good metaphor is like tending a garden and you're really wanting to reap the rewards of all of your hard work and it's just not that time yet so you just have to wait um, a little bit longer and then you'll be you'll be able to do that so um, another one of these would be like selling stocks things like that where you're selling something um, that could be even like a home or something like that you know it's just just wait for a sec it's don't do it right now it's just not the right time but it can be soon so um all right then we have sunday may 14th it's gonna be the magician 
So the magician is about manifestations. This is also manipulation too, which it doesn't necessarily mean like the bad part of manipulation, but it's like the manipulating what you're wanting. You have the power to do it. So it's kind of really a good time to manifest of what you're wanting your life to be, what you want to change, what you want to stay the same, that kind of thing. So it's a really good time to use your magic in that sense. Then we have um, May 15th, which is on a Monday, that's going to be the chariot in reverse. So there's something that you're trying to move forward, um, to, but unfortunately there's a blockage there. And a lot of times that is just not, um, it's not recognizing or balancing a certain, um, aspect. A lot of times this is because of like good when it's like a personal thing, it's good and bad. So like everyone has a good aspect of themselves and everyone has a bad aspect of themselves. And it's once you accept that to its full extent, then you'll be able to move forward. This can also be that you might be getting car problems or transportation problems. All right, then Tuesday, May 16th, and that's gonna be the star. What a beautiful energy. It's a week after um, that 10 of swords. So that's a really good sign of like getting into that healing energy. This is healing emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Um, it's also being in touch with the um, spirit world as well. So being really open to that and being open to the healing that the spirit world can offer you. So this is a really good time to um, ask your spirit team, um, whether that's people that have passed away, um, loved ones that have passed away or deities or um, even saints, things like that, where it's a good time to do that. All right. I say saints because of my nail lady, Carla. She does that, it's really, it's really cool. Okay, and then we have Wednesday, May 17th, and that's gonna be the page of wands, but in the reverse. So there might be a situation that you are looking for good news, and it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the good news that you're wanting. But the thing is, is that we just, we have to allow what, is meant for us and so it's just kind of keep that in mind with things where it um, just because you might receive not great news on something maybe you're waiting for um, uh, approval of something and it gets denied or, or whatever it's just that wasn't meant to be so it's all right keep your head up and just know that it wasn't meant for you okay and so then we have Thursday um, May 18th, that's going to be the Four of Pentacles in reverse. What a beautiful energy too. This is letting go of the past. It's letting go of things that you've been holding on to. So this can even be like junk. Like, <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, but like this could be even like things, hoarding things, things that you just don't really necessarily need, but you just feel bad, like you want to get it. Um, you just you just need to purge things and so it's really letting go and it's actually creating this like emotional release as well so you don't you'll feel a lot lighter with that and then we have um friday may 19th it's gonna be the two of um pentacles this is also going to be the new moon in taurus but is very cusped with um gemini so the two of uh Pentacles is um, it's a multitasking energy. It's a juggling energy. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going on and you're going to have to keep all of the balls in the air, essentially in that juggling metaphor. So if it's becoming too much, it's time to really evaluate what um, is important and what can be let go as well. So it's keeping that in mind and letting go of things that do not serve you. All right, then we have Saturday, May 20th. That's gonna be the hermit in reverse. This bee is like <laughs> loving this corner right now. I'm gonna have to clean it or something. I don't know what, it, what he's doing. Um, but the hermit is about um, 
when he's in the upright, it's about being kind of alone and like self-reflecting and trying to look at things, shine a light on things that you might have not shine a light on um, either at all or haven't in a really long time. But um, with it in the reverse, it just says stop. Like for me, it's like, okay, you got to let go of that and you have done a lot of self-reflection. It's like time to um, implement it. So get yourself out there and um, either work on what you have shined a light on or get yourself out there, that kind of thing. It's stop being so um, introverted or so introspective, um, especially for um, <laughs> like for me, it's I just I just want to dive deep and 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 be like that and you know get into like really deep relationships and sometimes it just doesn't need to be that way it can be really light-hearted and you don't have to be um, diving in that deep all right now we have Sunday May 21st and this is the eight of cups what a really beautiful card this is like moving forward away from things um, it can be emotional um, from the past emotional things that from the past or just things that no longer serve you now this movement forward can be your decision but it can also be something where you're actually being forced to move forward so a lot of times that can be like new like you are getting kicked out like landlord kind of kicks you out because they're gonna sell the place or um, like breaking up with someone that kind of thing and it just is a way to propel and move forward then we have Monday 2022 and this is one of my favorite cards it is the ten of cups it is a moment of time where you just need to really live in the moment and just appreciate it appreciate for the moment as it is um, because it's not gonna last forever so it's just like really enjoy the moment um, this is also can be an illusionary thing where you might be realizing that perhaps the thing that you or like relationship or situation that you thought was perfect really isn't and like the reality is gonna start to hit you during that day too all right, then we have Tuesday. Let me get my cards over here. We have Tuesday, May 23rd. And that's gonna be the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is a very serious energy. It's trying to get stuff done. It's really much, and this is kind of going off of that Knight of Swords energy. Um, it's, but this one's more thoughtful, but it's also like quick. It's you know what you want, you decide it, and you go for it. And it's not like beating around the bush. It's being fairly direct and your, your communication must be direct. This can be also coming off really cold, but it's just getting crap done. It's just being really straight to the point. All right, then we have Wednesday, May 24th. Yes, that's going to be, um, this is the high priest in this deck in traditional tarot. It's the Hierophant in reverse. So there's something that's happening that is um, non-traditional. So this can be like a non-traditional, um, a lot of times like it's weddings. That's kind of what comes into my mind. But this can also be something where you are... Um, you're repeating a lesson over and over again and you're not learning the lesson and that's why it kind of keeps repeating so this is a really good time to be to really focus on that to being like hey why does this keep happening it's a different cast of characters but it's the same situation over and over again it's because you're not learning you have the keys in front of you so you need to actually learn your lesson in order to be able to get out of that cycle all right, then we have Thursday, May 25th. It's gonna be the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is a really beautiful energy. This is about an offering, a proposal. This is something, someone coming to you about something that is of your heart's desire. I think the biggest thing though is that you wanna look at it not from a like, 
I want to say like over romantical situation which a lot of times this can be romantic but I'm talking about like something that since it's something you really really want you're not gonna look at it in the reality of things so it's making sure that you are looking at stuff in a really realistic way instead of getting wrapped up into like the moment of it all right then we have friday may 26th that's the five of cups this is actually my may of um 2023 card so the five of cups is about crying over spilled milk it's it's looking at things that or situations um that didn't go your way but you're not looking at what you already have so it's really about being in the present moment and being appreciative of what you have so just keeping that in mind then we have Saturday May 27th it's the page of cups so there is a um, message that's close to your heart it doesn't necessarily mean it's good doesn't necessarily mean it's bad but it's something that is close to your heart and you're going to be receiving that um, and that can be through text message email that kind of thing so just be be open to receiving that all right then we have Sunday May 28th be the eight of swords so the eight of swords is about almost like a self-sabotage you might feel really stuck into a situation but you have to open your eyes and realize the only person that has made you or put you in a situation is yourself so you want to make sure that you are not blinding yourself by your actual situation and if you want to get unstuck you need to um, make choices and decisions to get unstuck and it's almost like don't victimize yourself essentially you can get out of this um, then we have a Monday May 29th and that's the lovers beautiful energy so this is going to be something that um, at least for the collective too this is going to be a running theme that's, that is happening throughout 2023. So um, the lovers can be a couple different things. So the lovers can be a definitely definite uh, day of love and partnership and all of that. But this is also a card of choices and decisions. So there is something that is being offered to you from... Um, I'm from like the spirit world essentially your guardian angels your spirit guides things like that and they're giving you this opportunity and you have the free will to take it and so this is a chance that you can ask yourself do you are you gonna take it or are you not and um, you have the free will to do it so there's going to be a pretty big decision and choice in that sense so it's what are you gonna do <laughs> then we have May 30th and that's gonna be the Queen of Wands in reverse so we're feeling a little bit uninspired maybe more introverted than normal we don't want to be um, out and about around people which is fine but this is a really good time to get really re-inspired with things so picking up maybe um, one of your old hobbies that you haven't done in a while, reading a book, um, getting just getting more inspired to really reignite that spark. Then we have May um, 31st, which is on a Wednesday. And that's going to be the King of Wands in reverse. How funny. So it's going to be kind of the same energy that's happening um, with that Queen of Wands where it's you need to really ignite yourself in that um, and get yourself more excited and inspired about um, creating specifically because this is the wands so um, really start working with your hands and get yourself um, excited for creating things and doing all of that so um, I'm just gonna pause this for a second okay I live right by the hospital and then there's an Air Force base that's pretty close and so it gets a little bit loud with um, air traffic but anyways um, that is your May 2023 it actually looks pretty good um, 
energetically wise, I think that there's going to be a lot of stuff that's actually happening during it. And um, just on those days where I have told you to really like take a break, do it. Because I do feel like there's just a lot of stuff that's happening. So, and it doesn't mean it's necessarily good, doesn't mean it's necessarily bad, it's just a lot of stuff that's happening. And it really kind of coincides with that Knight of Sword energy that's happening in May, so. Um, but anyways, hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, let me know if you like the patio, if you like me filming out here, or if you like me filming back inside. Um, but yeah, it was nice hanging out with you. I hope you have a beautiful May. Um, if you want to look at the cards of my card of the day, go check me out on Instagram. My username is Witch of Boise. I'm on TikTok, Facebook. Just look up Witch of Boise, all one word, and it should pull right up. If you want to do your own, um, personalized, um, uh, monthly tarot forecast or a tarot reading, go check out my website, witchofboise.com. And that will also link you to my Etsy store where I have some cute little merchandise um, if you want to support. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you soon. Bye.